Welcome back to Character Rigging. We've got our devil guy here with his uh, bones for his legs in there and mirrored over. And uh, we don't need any of this uh, local rotation uh, information up anymore, so we can go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to select the top or the root joint here of both legs, so shift selecting. And uh, we actually need to get the entire hierarchy, so select dash high for hierarchy down here in our mail command. It's going to select everything right here, and I'm just going to come up to my shelf and click on the LRA button. If you don't have that up on your shelf, you can find that under Display, Transform Display, Local Rotation Axes. I'll just go ahead and select that to turn everything off. All right, uh, and when I set up the IK handles in the last uh, tutorial, uh, I left one little thing out. Uh, that's stickiness, so if you uh, kind of look at your foot right here, uh, it's going to actually need to, to stick at times, um, so we're going to go ahead and apply that information. Uh, it's quite simple. Just select the handle, come over the to the attribute editor under IK handle attributes, open that up, and there's just a pull down uh, attribute here for stickiness. It defaults as off, so you want to make sure it's set to sticky for both handles. And uh, we'll be coming back and kind of revisiting some of this uh, a little bit later after we get the reverse foot roll in here. It's also called the reverse foot lock. So that's going to be the focus of this tutorial is building that, uh, building the bones for the reverse foot lock and mirroring it over. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with that. I'm going to come into the side view right here. And I've noticed my character is uh, floating a little bit off the ground, so some of these things are going to have to get addressed uh, a little later on. Uh, your character should be correct if you're using the, um, the file that I provided for you with this character. Uh, that should I corrected all of that before I, I handed that off to you. So uh, if you're working with your own model, uh, just make sure that it is uh, actually on the ground right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started drawing out that uh, reverse uh, foot bones. So I've just activated this on the shelf. You can also find it under Select Joint Tool. And I'm going to start back here at the heel. And I'm keeping everything in alignment with my existing bone, so I'm not dropping it down here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of eyeball it and line it up with the other ones. And this is the uh, more critical one, being very mindful that uh, you know the heel is going to rotate right here off of the edge of that foot or the, the shoe. So I'm going to drop the first one right about here. The second one's going to come out to the toe, dropping that into place. And third one, I'm just clicking and dragging uh, into place here for the ball of the foot. And the last one, click and drag onto the ankle and hit enter. Okay, let's come out to our perspective view. We've got it here in the center on the origin. And we need to move this over into place, so we're going to uh, actually just snap that over. I'm going to activate uh, the x-axis only just by clicking on that. It highlights yellow. And then I'm going to hold down the V key and middle mouse over on this joint right here and kind of snap that into place while it's there on the center. And that looks like that's all lined up. We're going to have to kind of fine-tune that a little bit more. Uh, it's probably just a little bit off. Uh, same thing with the toe. So I'm actually going to come down here to the toe now, make sure that I'm grabbing the correct one. I've got joint two up here, so I know I've got the right one. And you can see it's just slightly off, so we want to uh, align that so it's sitting exactly on top of the other one. So I'm going to hit the Insert key. If you're on a Mac, it's the Home key. Hold down the V key, and we can just click and uh, drag that in the center, the left mouse button, and hit insert again. And should be able to use the arrow keys to arrow down. It's going to take you uh, down the chain. In this case, we've got a reverse chain, so it looks as though we're going up. We're actually going down the hierarchy. And we'll do the same thing here. Insert key, hold down the V key, left mouse button, and snap that into place. All right, hit the insert key again, and we're going to come up to the last one here. And 
Let's just arrowing down to that. And uh, this one looks like it's on there. Let's just go ahead and hit the insert key, hold down the V key, and just uh, select it. So it did need to move back just slightly. So it was just ever so slightly off. And hit the insert key again. And we should have that done. Okay, so you've probably noticed that, um, you know, especially here with the toe, uh, they're sitting exactly on top of uh, the other joint chain, so it makes it a little bit difficult to select that. Uh, actually, this one still looks like it's a little bit off, so I'm going to come back down here, just select that, hold down the V key, and see if that can do any better. Actually, I guess that is it right there, okay? So you've probably noticed that um, it's a little bit difficult to kind of select between the two. Um, kind of have to zoom in here. So to kind of avoid uh, selecting the wrong one, I'm going to come down here and uh, select the root of that, come over to the channel box, and under uh, uh, radius, we can just up that to 6. And you can see that that only did it for the one right there. So we actually need to come down here to our mail script and just arrow up. So we've got that select dash high, selects the entire hierarchy. And then we can come in here and put in uh, 0.6. So that makes them just slightly larger. So we can kind of see the difference between our reverse foot lock bones and uh, the bones of our leg, part of our leg. OK. So let's come back here, select that. We need to come in here and name the joints now. So I'm starting with the, the first joint. Coming up here, uh, this is uh, our reverse lock. So RL to start with, underscore. We're going to follow the same naming convention. So left, LT. And this is the heel, 0, 1. And then I'm going to come down to the next one. So that's just arrowing down. It takes me down to joint two. And we could have uh, actually copied this one right here. Let's come back here and just grab that. Copy it. Control C. Uh, arrow down. Or actually, we can just come down here and grab this next one, the next joint. And Control V and paste that in there. And replace heel with toe that L right there. Okay, and then I'm going to come up to the, making sure I'm grabbing the right one, ball of the foot there, that's joint three, paste that in there, type in ball, and last one, grabbing the right one here, joint four, paste that in there, and this is our ankle. Okay, so we've got all those named now. I'm going to go down here and select uh, the root joint. And we're ready to mirror that over. So what we need to do is come under Skeleton, Mirror Joint, and we should have our settings from the leg in here still. Uh, if we don't, we'll just go ahead and type that in there. Looks like it got reset. So I'm going to reset everything. We're going to uh, mirror across the YZ axes and we're going to replace the underscore left as you can see right here so underscore LT underscore with underscore right RT underscore and just mirror that over okay and you can already see right there that it's renamed everything let's check it all out make sure we're grabbing the right one okay there's our ankle all right, so we've got our reverse foot roll bones in here. And the next thing we need to do is start building uh, controllers for that and setting up uh, the set driven keys, which will kind of limit the information as to how far things uh, will roll forward um, on the not only the toe, but the heel and the ankle. And uh, I think uh, this is a good stopping place here. And we'll go ahead and uh, start working on the controls in the next lesson.